Our lesson number one is straight repeat. We have a floral print. The factory is going to create garment for me. They turn our print into the fabric and see what I have. What happened? We forgot about repeat. That's because the most common method for fabric printing is rotary printing. How does it work? They engrave your artwork color by color on rollers. The amount of rollers is equal to the amount of colors, but usually no more than 11 plus ground. Rollers are spinning and artwork is transferring to the fabric. So your artwork needs to have no seams and when it turns to the fabric, it has to look endless like this. Compare. So we are starting to create a repeat. There are two most common types of repeat, straight repeat and half drop repeat. Today we will talk about straight repeat. First you have to know the length of roller cycle. It will be the vertical dimension of your print. You can ask factory you work with what rollers they use, but usually it's 12 or 24 inches. Let's pretend our roller is 12 inches. What do we know about our print? It has three layers plus ground and vertical dimension 1148 and the resolution 200 dpi. I always work in 200 dpi. Low resolution sometimes doesn't show tiny details. High resolution takes too much memory, but you can use any resolution which is convenient for you. Let's make a copy of this print and put it next into the window. I always do this. It's very helpful to have your original artwork open. For now, we are going to work with one layer print. So go to layers, select three layers, leave the ground untouched and do merge layers. Then remember we have a roller 12 inches, our print is shorter. So go to canvas size, make height 12, select anchor the spot where you started in vertical direction. I usually do from the bottom and click OK. We have additional blank space. Then the most important part, we have to convince our print to go endless. So we have to eliminate horizontal seam. Go to filter other offset, indicate undefined area as a wrap around. Moving the slider gives you impression of roller movement. Put your seam somewhere in the middle and start to patch the seam. For the first result, we will find something that can cover the broken spot. Go to original file, remember we left it open. Find the most appropriate flower Drag it to the repeat file, rotate in the best way, and here we are. Go to the first layer, delete broken flower, and merge both layers. See? Your seam is almost fixed. Let's check. Go to filter other offset. Fabric is endless. We'll talk later about this flower. Now I want to show you my first trick. See, it's important. When you do offset, you move your file vertically and kind of see it from different perspectives. Remember, there is no any criteria how your file is supposed to look like. It's just your creativity to make it pretty. Let's say you don't like this empty space. You find the new detail and place it here. Merge layers, check your print for seams, you remember, filter other offset and, oh my god, new seam, what happened? Going few steps back, we see we put this little detail too high and this little tip went out of print canvas. So when we roll the print, Photoshop captures this invisible part with this little tip on it and destroying our repeat. What is my trick? Instead of trying every time to put every detail in correct spot and watching carefully that it doesn't go outside the canvas, do this. Place the detail wherever you think it fit, merge layers, then go select all, then go image crop. When you do crop, Photoshop crops cuts out everything outside the canvas. Let's see again. Filter other offset, no seams at all. And you have a new detail. Do you like it? If not, you can always adjust it. Here is important things from my experience. When you print is very complicated, you usually add a lot of details to patch your seam and empty spots to make print look as pretty as possible. Sometimes your detail is obviously going outside the canvas. Sometimes you're 100% sure it's not. But do you want to take a risk? You've seen a little tip can destroy the great print. And if you don't catch it right away, you may spend hours to fix the entire print. So, do this operation every time before doing offset. 
you probably know how to use shortcuts in Photoshop for faster way and after three four times you will get used to it so every time before offset you go select all image crop even if you do this two three times straight just in case now we're going to do a horizontal repeat because fabric has certain width and it's obviously wider than your artwork repeat width can be any size our print is 6.665 inches let's do 7 inches for our convenience now we are going to do horizontal offset but before as always select all then go image crop then we do same steps filter other offset but now we are moving horizontal slider put seam in the middle and start patching again for faster way we are using existing elements but remember you are an artist so you can use creative tools and adjust your work in the best way Let's see what we end up with. Print looks very pretty in the middle, but what about edges? Again, our tricky operation, select all, then go image crop, just in case, and filter other offset. This is our final offset. Let's move both sliders to find not perfect spot. And here it is. This flower is only one we don't like. Let's replace it with this one, which really fits for the spot. Please try to avoid put totally identical elements next to each other. This is my second trick. Even if you are out of time to create new elements, use the existed ones, but just change color or size or rotate it. Otherwise, two identical elements on garment will catch customer's eye in the wrong way and distract their attention from the natural beauty of the print. So now we have our repeat size 12 by 7 and after color reduction it's ready to be sent to the factory let's see how the large piece of fabric will look like create new canvas largest size that we can see several repeats in the same time maybe 25 by 15 very important new file resolution must be the same as a repeat resolution i do my favorite 200 dpi then go to our repeat select all edit define pattern you can put here any name then go to new print edit fill choose pattern our pattern normal 100 percent okay our beautiful fabric in front of you you can see it's about two repeats vertical and two repeats horizontal and obviously no seams so we are done with our first lesson next time we will talk about half drop repeat see you soon